Hi, I'm Supremo P. I'm scared of a hairdryer. Oh no, is Minecraft Weekly. First feature in this week's show, as usual, we have the Texture Pack Spotlight. This week's Texture Pack is Roamcraft version 4.0, and I believe this is ready for the latest patch that's just gone out. So it's 1.3 ready, it has all the textures in it you need. So basically, this Texture map Pack is basically for making your maps look like more Roman buildings and stuff. It, I can don't really have a good example of showing you a building because on here my buildings are a bit rubbish but you can see all the textures the smooth stones looking a bit different I really like the doors the doors look pretty sweet the glass looks awesome as well and I like the cobblestone there you can see the wood the gravel is a bit normal the grass is normal but look at this the pigs are boars I thought that was pretty cool. They look like the same balls from the Mo Creatures mod t textures. But, yeah, that's pretty sweet. The flowers look a bit cooler. The sheep are the same. I believe cows are different. Yeah, the cows are looking a bit different. They actually look like cows are just brown. <laughs> and, yeah, over there you can see the glass. So this is like probably the first texture pack I've reviewed where they actually have animal textures as well as just normal block textures in the game, which is pretty cool. So, yep, this is Roomcraft version 4.0 and as usual, you can find the link in the description. Second feature in today's show, we got the map spotlight. Today's map is Survival Sands version 1.24, although 1.26 has already been released and I only downloaded this last night so good work on updating really quickly so basically this is not your typical like survival island type map it's basically a big open world set in the desert and there's like plenty of buildings ruins and other things like that around and there's no set goal but it, on it, the forum topic there's like various achievements you can do and it's suggested you play this on hard mode so basically this is supposed to be just a colossal mash of caves, dungeons and ruined cities and he's still building and he's still adding stuff to this map and it's pretty epic so as you can see there's like loads of stuff on the horizon we got like pyramids, we got ruined buildings, we got stuff on top of ledges We've got even a portal to a never. Apparently there's bit stuff in the never to explore. I haven't been in there yet, but some of the achievements are like find water in the never, find grass in the never, and find diamonds in the never. So there's stuff to do in there and I'll be checking it out at some point. But yeah, this is like really pretty epic map and I really like this. It's a lot to do and well, really good job from Nix from the Minecraft forums. So, basically, that is it for the map, and I suggest you all go and download it. The link's in the description as usual, so remember to check the description if you want to play the map. Now it's time for the Minecraft news. This week has been a big week for Minecraft. We've seen a new patch releasing various new little things to the game. We've seen the smooth lighting mod has been integrated into the game. We now have a new save file format which has been integrated. A seed generator, so I'm not too good with a seed generator, but I believe if you put in a 19 digit number and someone else puts in a 19 digit number, you will be generated in the same local area in the same exact world and I've tested it with someone and yeah it seemed to work we had the same landmarks everything so we also got beds beds are good they allow you to sleep during the night and 
This allows you to skip for all the niceties of the night. It actually works on survival multiplayer as well, but everyone on the server has to be in the bed for it to work. And I believe there's still some bugs with it, like it's kicking some people off. But I really like the bed feature. There's new half blocks. There's sandstone half blocks. There's cobblestone half blocks, and there's wood half blocks, as in wooden planks. That is. And I've showed you in my beta 1.3 video how to make those, so go and check that out if you haven't. We've also got redstone repeaters now. They act as, well, repeat the signal of redstone for long distances, however long you want. And also they can act as diodes and layers. It's a really nice feature they've added in. I'm useless with redstone, but... I'm sure people have started making some amazing stuff with it. Also now, sandstone spawns naturally in the world. So basically, if you see a big sandy area and you dig down, there's a chance you will find sandstone between the layers of sand and the layers of whatever's below the sand. It will only spawn on a current game, though, if it's a new explored area and also if you just generate a new world of course. Final feature in the patch is toggle keys. These are the F keys, mainly F1, F3, F5 and F8. F8 is something to do with camera, I've never touched it. I have no idea what it does so I can't tell you. F5, it makes your character go in third person mode, you no longer have to hold the key down. I can't remember if you had to do that anyway but I think you did, and now you don't have to, it just stay in third person mode until you press F5 again. And it's the same with F1 and like, which removes your GUI, so you no longer have to hold that down, it'll just stay like that, so you can make some nice videos. And there's F3, which displays like various data, like some graphs, some like, your coordinates, and now it displays like numbers above animals and creatures' heads, so you can see where creatures are in the dark, for example, and it's a really nice feature. I'm not sure what they're going to do with that, if they're going to add random names above people's heads, but yeah, I really like that feature. Now it's time for the final feature of today's show, and it's the Channel Spotlight. Today's Channel Spotlight goes to Banana Pie Lord. He has over 15,000 subscribers at the moment and I've been following him for quite a while. He doesn't just do Minecraft video, he's d he's does, he did some Dead Space 2, he's doing some N uh, SNES uh, Legend of Zelda at the moment and of course Minecraft. So, and I think he does WoW as well actually. So the Minecraft videos he does, he has two main series. One is just um, Let's Play, where he just builds stuff and talks to people about his general life and about certain topics. And then there's the other one, which is where he does people building maps, and he does them. And then usually TNT trapped, lava trapped, everything, and... He also goes through the channel comments and questions, and he interacts with his subscribers, which is really good, which is what I like to say, especially when you start to grow towards over 10,000, and you're still so interacting, which is really good. So, Banana Pylord is this week's channel spotlight. Links in the description. Remember to check him out, and... That is it for this week's show. And on that bombshell, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.